Angelunda, uh, this is the ATD YouTube channel in English. Uh, today I'm going to talk about this high voltage battery from a Toyota Prius uh, 2012 uh, model. Uh, I'm going to explain you uh, its parts and uh, how it works. First, I want to say that uh, this battery has 28 modules connected in series. Each module has a voltage of 7.2 volts and a capacity of uh, 6.5 amps hour. In total, uh, the high voltage battery has 201.6 volts and the same capacity, 6.5 amps hour. Uh, I'm going to take some measurements to show you how it works. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we have the little metal pieces which uh, connect positive with negative poles. In this side we have more metal pieces to connect the positive with negative, positive with negative and uh, all the modules are connected in series. Using my multimeter uh, I'm going to show you some measurements. As you can see uh, I'm going to connect the initial point we have here the negative pole uh, of the first module which is the negative of that module this is this wire and I'm going to put here a lead this lead here and then if I connect uh, the multimeter in the positive pole we have it's not touching now it's connected we have 7.5 volts is the uh, voltage of the first module if I uh, maintain this lead in this point I'm going to uh, connect the next module we have here same pole and here we have the positive pole of the second module so we have 15 volts if we uh, take the measure of every uh, connection we obtain 21, 37, 50 and then we here have 67 and then we have 0 volts. That is because we have the servic plug disconnected. Uh, that's the reason why I'm not using high voltage uh, insulating uh, gloves but if I connect the service plug using my class 0 gloves uh, I put the, uh, this service plug in this location then I continue measure the series we have 79 94 now we have a uh, high voltage up to 60 volt uh, it's considered high voltage 113 120 140 150 or 60 160 100 50 150 as you can see uh, 
those final modules are not good they have no voltage now I can uh, measure those modules individually we have points zero zero we have zero 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 and the same so some modules are this had uh, seven volts however those has zero volts so this battery doesn't work uh, good in, in the car uh, obviously uh, this uh, battery uh, when is when is working in the car will uh, generate a DTC uh, as you can see I'm going to disconnect uh, for safety reason I'm going to disconnect the service plug now it's disconnected uh, look at uh, what service plug uh, do thus a service plug is uh, connected connected in this side of the battery so the service plug is the uh, same as a metal piece to connect uh, positive and negative but using two wires to uh, make easy disconnect or connect the high voltage okay so this is two wires for high voltage service plug okay so if you understand how uh, modules are connected and how it works uh, now I'm going to explain you what we have here here we have uh, the final and initial point of the battery the negative pole and the positive pole if service plug is connected we have here the uh, voltage of the battery then these two wires were connected here one another one In these uh, connections and we have three relays uh, which uh, are used to connect or disconnect the high voltage to the inverter converter we have two uh, pins big pins uh, to connect uh, two uh, long wires uh, to the inverter converter so if those uh, relays are open high voltage is in this side but uh, if contactors are closed high voltage is in this side too and the inverter converter uh, has that voltage uh, one contactor is the positive another contactor is the negative we have the pre-charge relay and the resistance the pre-charge relay and the resistance are used to connect and disconnect uh, the high voltage uh, to the car uh, preventing the arc flash in the relays uh, also we have a very important control unit that that is the BMS the battery management system that control unit uh, supervises the temperature of the battery we have three temperature sensors and another one uh, down this is the input uh, air temperature if BMS uh, supervises that uh, or see that any uh, of the temperature sensor are uh, sending a voltage uh, that means a high temperature uh, this uh, control unit uh, by uh, CAN bus 
communication uh, send a message to the main control unit of the hybrid system to connect the fan, the air fan. The air fan uh, takes the air from the cabin and uh, put the air below the battery, the air go through the battery, extract the heat and go outside. Uh, also the BMS supervises the uh, amount of current. You can see here a connector, connection. This is the uh, current sensor and current sensor measures uh, the uh, current who goes into the battery when it's charging and goes out to the battery when it's discharging. Um, finally, the BMS uh, also supervises the uh, voltage of uh, modules. We have here uh, 14 pairs of modules. As you can see here, we have a very little wires. In total, we have 14 because Toyota supervises uh, the voltage of uh, a pair of modules. Uh, Toyota call a pair of modules a block. A block is two modules. So we have 28 modules but we can uh, supervise, we can check with the uh, scan tool 14 uh, block voltage. If any of that uh, voltage is, uh, has a difference between the nominal voltage, obviously a uh, DTC will appear. Now we will have a problem with this uh, part of the battery totally discharged. So that's the main component, that's the uh, main uh, function. I hope you uh, learn more about that battery and thank you for watching.